20 nymph hook here. Very, very small. I don't know if I can even get that thing in focus. <clears throat> I'm going to take my beads or tool here. Put on... Oh, this is like a 2.2 millimeter tungsten bead. It's a little bit big for the size hook, but that's the plan. We're going to tie a nymph that needs to sink. Uh, we're going to tie an ice cream cone. So next what I'll do is find a little tiny thing of CDC in here. Just need a small little clump. I'm just going to use the end of it. And then I will start my thread just behind the eye. Three or four wraps to get it secured on there. You're really going for minimal when you're doing this. Really going for minimal wraps. Take the CDC. You want the points forward towards the eye. Do kind of a loose wrap there. Pull them back. So they're just overhanging the eye there. You can kind of see that. Three or four wraps to minimize the bulk. Cut the ends, discard. And then do a whip finish. Try to whip finish towards the point of the hook. So you want to whip finish towards the back. That'll reduce the bulk. Cut that off really quick. Slide that bead forward. That's why you're trying to keep everything minimal. You're trying to slide that bead forward so that it goes over. Alright. Okay. Now that we've got the tough part done, put our thread back on here. Now you can kind of build up a thread base. Um, you go just past the bend of the hook, so this is going to be kind of a, a nymph, but I want it to still have sort of a curved look, even though this is on a straight shank. Either way, um, I've got some cream microtubing because I don't like using uh, wire this small. I think it makes the body look a little funky. Um, anyway, so hairline, so you can see that, microtubing in cream. Um, and I, to keep the body even, I start all the way up, and I try to shove that tubing into the front there. Catch that with my thread. Unwind my thread there. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to basically pull tight, keep that body somewhat minimal. Um, wrap this all the way back to where you stopped your thread earlier. Cool. And then now just kind of smooth out that body with thread wraps. And then I'll lay down kind of a body taper. So I'll lay down a thicker layer towards the bead. Just do several wraps here. Kind of making sure that it stays somewhat even. It looks good and tapered. Alright. Now, I pull kind of tight on this because it is very stretchy. Um, so I just basically start wrapping. I pull kind of tight. And then basically just even wraps. And the tubing will flatten out around the shank of the hook. And that's good. You want it to kind of lay down on it. I don't want anything sticking up. So do whatever seems right at the time for wraps. Lay down wraps. When you get close to the bead, I always like to pull down and catch with my thread. And that'll pinch the tubing. And so now I'm free to manipulate the other hand. Couple more wraps to make sure that stuff doesn't slip out. Clip the tubing. Be careful not to cut your thread. Alright. And then you whip finish and we're done. And that 
is an ice cream cone. I always like to lay down a thicker head. I do this. Ooh, got a little funky there. Uh, I lay down a thicker head wrap. That way I can continue that body taper. Uh, so cut the thread. Little dab will do. Zap a gap. Basically, just put a little dab on the bead thread interface there. Call it good. And there we go.